Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Because they expect him, because of the amount of melanin in his skin, mm -hmm. to be what they want him to be, and he refuses to fall into that box. Yeah, it's funny. When the last time Marge was on, we had the melanin description, uh, discussion, excuse me, the, the discussion about melanin, and um, and, I, and I make snippets, right, if we talk about stuff. Yep. <laughs> that snippet got so many people mad, and, I, and it's basically me just discussing with him because I've noticed Maj, I've noticed Kevin Dixie, and some other folks saying, oh, you know, my melanated brothers or my non-melanated, and I was like, okay, I, I know what it means. Right. But I don't know necessarily what that means to the person. This is the funny thing about language. So uh, we just had that. What do you discussion. mean by that? Unpack huh? that a little bit for me. Well, I know what melanin means. It has to do. It's it's uh, something related to the color in our skin, our hair, all those kinds of things. But I, I don't necessarily know exactly what he means when he says my melanated brothers and my non melanated. When we go melanated and non melanated. I don't know, because actually everyone has melanin. That's what has to do right. with your eye color, your hair color, your skin. If I don't know if you believe in evolution or not, but if you look into it way back in evolution when we were, uh, you know, close ape man or whatever that was, we had hair. Under that hair was just skin that looks like that, right? So we had hair, and that hair was to protect us. When we lost all that hair, based on the same thing again, uh, evolution, you know, then the skin started, the skin started changing uh, in certain places to resist the sun, right? The sun is radiating and killing all of us. So some people, right. the people that live people, towards the equator, yeah. the people yeah. groups towards the equator develop more melanin. Mm -hmm. I think, I think what it is, Hank, is just a, it's just a fun way or a more hip way of saying people of color or the POC. Yeah. That's I what know. I think. That's what I think it is. But you know, in his, he's, Here's what I try to do, and I don't know. I wish the, the I hope the folks out there would listen to this and try to figure it out. By the way, smash the thumbs ups and all that kind of stuff if you're in here. We appreciate that. Um, I try to let people say what they mean by something instead of me assuming it. If I don't know what something is, I'm gonna say, "Hey, what does this mean?" Maj went into an explanation that I don't believe a hundred percent. But I was do. this the snippet? Was this yeah. the snippet you were talking about? Yeah. What did he say? Well, I think he went into it that like people who are more melanated, um, therefore have uh, they they have an ability to do things that people who don't have that are able to do, and there's some truth to it, but not as much as you would necessarily think, right? Obviously, so he's saying that people groups. What he's saying, I know a little bit about those theories mm -hmm. that the people groups that tend to have a higher melanin content, they have uh, characteristics. Uh, that other other people groups do not. And that's yeah. a really tough thing because, mm -hmm. example, Japanese students score three, four, five, six, seven percent higher than North American students in mathematics. Mm -hmm. Do the Asians, now the average Asian is a white person, the average Asian is either Indian or Russian, but mm -hmm. when we say Asian, I'm talking about Eastern Asian. Right, right. Do the Asians, the Japanese, are they better at math or mm -hmm. is it cultural? Yeah, and I'm by the way, and, I'm Asian. Um, I'm good, good at the I old. Might. I'm good at the old math, but I'm pretty terrible at the new math. But gotcha. But that's it comes based down on to communism. Culture. Yeah, <laughs> it's not all about. It's not necessarily <laughs> that just because they have Asian DNA that they're better no. at mathematics. We don't know. We really we don't know. We don't know. But it looks yeah. like it may be cultural if they have a culture. So yeah. those uh, color theories are really really interesting. All right, here's a question I mean, for that's you. How, I'm, taking, I'm sorry. Let ahead. me. I just want to get this in before we forget. By the way, imposter says, was that before or after we had gills? Trust me, dude. In evolution, we had gills. You know, you can, you know somewhere somewhere there in the line we had those. But <laughs> you know that's how Nick Cannon got in trouble. And I think there were a lot of people that thought because of what Marge was saying that he's somehow racist and this is like a racist thing or whatever. I even asked him, I said, is this a point of pride that we're saying this? Like, I, I'm melanated, this person is non-melanated. And, and, and the truth of the matter is there's very, first of all, everyone has melanin. The people who have a low level of melanin are... Uh, Me. No. What, uh, 
what is it again? There's like there's black people who are really fair because then they can't go out and this albinos. Albinos have a very low level of melanin, right? But you actually have melanin. That's what's controlling your hair color and all that. You just it's your skin color is affected based on where your people evolved from, right? So if 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 my folks are from Asia, Africa, or whatever then they probably had a higher level of melanin in the skin to help resist the sun so that you you could absorb it more slowly and it actually does something. There are some people, if they absorb sun really fast, it messes them up, right? You get like sunstrokes and all that. And this is, this is connected somewhat to slavery. If, if, when they came, if when people came to develop America or the Caribbean, they found... Uh, if, if white people, for example, were able to be out there in the sun working hard all the time, then we wouldn't have had really the Atlantic slave trade the way that we did have it, right? Because they would have just used those people to do the work. Then there was this convenient thing that they decided to get into. Lots of terrible things happened. That was called slavery. When that ended, they wound up going to Indians. That's like how the Indian side of my family, that's how they got to Guyana because after slavery... They had to get someone to do, to do that labor who was able to resist the sun. If you can't use Africans, the next best thing is Indians. And they All did, closer to the equator. Yeah, and they use indentured servitude, but they convinced these people that, hey, you know, instead of us arresting you or something, you could go over here for five years or do this or do that. And that's how that whole thing um, – that's how that whole thing got complicated. Flying Red Shed is, said, I'm Asian like Kamala Harris. I think I'm probably close to Kamala Harris because she's from Jamaica. I think one of her parents is uh, mm -hmm. Indian and the other one's white or something. I think. Uh, I think it's Jamaican and Indian, I think. I think. Oh, so maybe black and – because what would Jamaican be? Would that be black? You Jamaican me crazy. <laughs> she – when she first got elected, what's interesting is mm -hmm. the press, and they did all that wild stuff – first Indian American elected yeah, yeah. for this and this yeah. and this. And she wasn't black until recently. Now, to be clear, <laughs> I, when I said the word melanin, uh -huh. I wasn't trying to go race theory at all. Right. I was just trying to be hip because I like the word and I think it's an interesting word. It's a great yeah. conversation. Flying I, Rich also did a super chat. So thanks to that, Flying yeah, Rich. He says uh, super chat for my super friend. Yeah, listen, I don't really think that those guys are trying to be and, – and, and by the way, I don't think that Maj – is trying to be racist, and I and we all get into things that we're not trying to do deliberately, and we all have, uh, you know, misconceptions or perceived notions of this thing or that thing, and we have to give each other some level of like leeway. <laughs> we walk on eggshells, don't we? Yeah, come on, let's you know, let's like ultimately to me, if that's a cool thing that you're saying, I'm I'm good with it. Like, go ahead and do it, right? You know, and if, we, if can, it, if it we can we can absolutely we can absolutely disagree on yeah. things, and that's okay. Yeah. All right. There's military arms channel. He says this, you? Johnny. <laughs> he took a break from breaking six what, hours. What did you What did you said. do he to said, Matt? He's a horrible racist. Every time I'm around him, all he does is make racist comment. Write this down, y'all. <laughs> he he calls sugar. me sugar. White sugar. <laughs> <laughs> he smells my hair. I'm pretty sure he's related to Biden. Go what? break a Wait, hold on a second. You called Mac white sugar? I, apparently, I did. Oh. White sugar. That oh. should stink. <laughs> white Go sugar. Um, so that's bleach sugar. Well, white sugar. Yeah, white sugar. White sugar. Brown oh, sugar is always ice. best. Huh? Less nope. melanated sugar is what you should call him. He's he's like my 2% <laughs> brother. That's yes. pretty good. We have to, if we don't allow each other a certain amount of leeway and, and, and if we're not capable of joking around with each other and having fun, you could tell when someone's trying to really hurt your feelings one way or the other, you know, that exists. And I think that's the terrible thing, but I think we've got to give each other some leeway. And a dude like Maj is a good dude and he's out there, uh, in my opinion, Smart. working hard, um, mm -hmm. you know, so people need to appreciate that uh, a little bit. He says, I'm punching a cig right now shocking yeah we were talking about that glock uh it's a p80 i think yeah yeah we were talking about that that's what i want to know about but i think mac is coming on tomorrow so we'll be able that's to get good. we'll be able to get the skinny from him what i realized from a video mac put out recently is he's getting so old now that he actually cannot load magazines anymore he's not capable 
of loading magazines. And then when you, get harsh. Re- when you get real old and you try to load a magazine and you start bleeding, you know, you might need to get like a home health aid, like maybe like a, a home range aid or... A walker? Yeah, a somebody range needs walker. to help him load. <laughs> he needs a range you, walker. You and don't think, know what I'm talking about, do you? You're like, what? I what? have no idea what you're talking about. Did he get hurt? <laughs> no, he, I was looking at a video where he was trying to load. He was showing this. I think it's the Strybog. I think it's the Strybog, uh, the Strybog gun, but the magazine is really tough to load once you get down to like past 10 rounds. <laughs> And he was showing it, and he's trying to force the thing in there, and then he cut himself, which happens to all of us. You know, I hate magazines that are difficult to load. No, I use that Maglula speed loader, and okay. I will not go to the range without that thing. If Absolutely That's, that's not. universal, I'm assuming. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is. Yeah, your old Last butt needs to, to get a mag loader, Mac, so there, there you go. Last yeah. thing I want to say about the race thing is this mm-hmm. thing, and, and even to Tim's point on there, mm-hmm. Mac's point, is this has to come out of relationship. Like when you have a relationship with somebody and there's trust and Hank and I, we've been friends for years now. Mm -hmm. We can have good conversations right before we went live. You and I were talking about some different language things Mm -hmm. and different subcultures Mm -hmm. have different language styles. Mm -hmm. And this comes out of relationship and we're not on eggshells around each other. Mm -hmm. We have mutual respect. Mm -hmm. Even Mac joking with me and saying that I called him white sugar. I've never called anybody white sugar. I think I'm going to start today. Oh, he's that that now. He's white sugar now. He is he is my white sugar daddy. Yeah. But <laughs> Okay, white now, sugar. now that's a whole different thing, my friend. You just it's added language. you white added sugar. daddy onto that. Whole white, different deal. I don't want any part of that. <laughs> white sugar daddy. But again, it does come out of relationships. Make sure to check out hankstrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.